Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's Journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio, and in last episode we triumphed over Anchorage 3 to nothing, and we now have a three-game winning streak where we have let up zero goals and two multi-goal games for us. So we have moved up from, I think we were 11th when this started, and we moved up to 6th. Uh, just one point behind Little Rock, Oklahoma City, and Jacksonville. But today we will be taking on Madison. And Madison is a team I think we've had trouble with previously. This is not going to be an easy opponent for us. I'm just trying to work out how we're going to deal with them. They've got Green, they've got Silva, they've got Reardon. Hits that on the side. I think our current formation may actually make sense. Here. Roman moving forward. Actually, mm, no, with, with Sullivan and Dunlap there, it doesn't make sense to put Thacker up. So it, I think it makes sense to have Roman here, and we can false kick Trimble out and give Hemphill a chance on goal. Now, Meeks has definitely better control than the previous, than Anchorage's goalkeeper. But I think we can make it four wins in a row. We just got to make sure our defense holds up, which they've been doing a great job of so far. And we will start with the ball. Thacker passing to Roman here. Roman is going to go out going to false kick Trimble out of the way. We're going to give a chance to Hemp Hill. And that's how you start things right. one nothing, Manchester. Hemp Hill has been so crucial this season. And Thacker celebrating his very easy pass to, to Roman to start. You know, it, it's a team effort, but at the moment, Roman and Hemphill are definitely the, the biggest stars on that. So Swan passing to Green. Green moving down and keeps it from Doss. Now, is he going to go for a cross? He is, but it is saved by Hodges, and they're going to all move out here. Pass is going to Novak. Novak passes to Thacker. And Thacker will just pass to Hemp Hill at the moment. And he gets it taken away by Feldman. Feldman passes to Swan. And Swan moves off to the side. Hemp Hill moves in. Bowers. Moving over, takes it away. And is going to hold this one, so we'll try and take it away next time. Not take it away. Uh, try to attack the defense next time. And down comes Feldman for this. And over comes Moyer. So Roman will get the ball. And we could do the lofted pass. So 63 versus 25 compared to 63 versus 13. We're just going to pass it past to Hemp Hill right in front of goal. And it's saved out of bounds. We have a corner. Roman with the ball. And we'll try Hemp Hill in front with Greer in the back and see if we can get a good header in. Sullivan is a center defender, so he's going to be able to do something about this, but. But it's not enough. Hemp Hill puts us up two to nothing. Our air game is insane at the moment. It is incredible. Childress and Thornton showing, showing their appreciation for our offense. We're, we're feeling good right now. 
with this team. Breen moves down and loses it to Doss. That's exactly why I put him there. Now, Doss would have to... Yeah, he's going to go for the lofted pass. Didn't think that was going to work out. Thacker comes over. Get this. And passes to Hemphill. Feldman once again takes this. It leaves Hemphill in a pretty good position to go into the box. Swan. Tries to get it by Thacker, and that's not happening here. So, pass it go to Greer. And then, who oh, should have gone to, well, didn't really have an opportunity to... Oh, there. So we're trying lofted pass and controlled by Hemp Hill in front of goal. Another corner. This time on the other side with Hemp Hill still motivated. So we're going to have an even better shot of taking this away. Greer has the middle, but it's not the middle they have to worry about. Bicycle kick for a hat trick from Hemphill. What a performance. This is... This is... Our team has been on a tear recently. And it doesn't seem to be letting up. Doss with the ball. Doss will move up. Pass to Thacker. And... Verdon has pretty good defense, but we're just going to hold this for the moment. And it is Verdon who's coming over to try and take it. And he does manage it. What's he going to do with it now, though? Nothing. Nothing. He's going to do nothing with it, and Bowers couldn't take it away. Should have done the press first. The slide tackle does get it, so we have the ball. And here's what's going to happen. Roman gets the ball. False kicks Trimble out. Does the nutmeg... Oh, and I didn't realize that Hemp Hill was too close for that to work. Ah, oh, well, he'll just go for the very unlikely shot, knocked away by Moyer, and that is halftime. Manchester with a commanding 3 does nothing lead, 72% possession. This is quite the performance we're putting on. Peterson is coming in for Thacker get him a little more experience, and I'm thinking Jin in for Greer, get him a little more experience as well, and we'll see if we can put stuff together, and that goes to Doss, which is not actually what we wanted, we're gonna press and easily take this away, and De Silva's got Decent control, so it's not going to be easy to take it back, but that's not going to stop Doss. Off to pass, gets to Thacker, not Thacker, Peterson, and Peterson is passing to Hemphill. It would be very nice if Hemphill could get a fourth goal, and he keeps this from Feldman. Hemphill might get an upgrade from this game. It's been just that kind of performance. And Swan gets the ball. Bowers coming up. Bowers taking it. And Bowers is just going to pass to Jin. Get him a little more 
experience on the upgrade. And he keeps it and gets the foul! Was that a red card? No. It was it was it was not a card at all. So with Hemphill there, I think it makes sense to have Roman in. And maybe Jin over here and just end turn there. Because getting it to Hemp Hill makes the most sense instead of going direct onto goal. And Hemp Hill with his fourth goal of the game. I there's just not much to say. He's been incredible so far. And it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what they do, they cannot stop him. And Doss isn't able to take this one from Green, so they're looking at probably a cross here. And saved once again by Hodges. Bowers gets the ball. He's going to pass to Peterson, and Peterson's just going to hold this one. With all their defenders back there, they got... We got more of a chance, and that still doesn't work out. Swan managed to take it. So Novak comes over, takes this, and passes to Peterson once again. And up is it comes Feldman, and it looks like Feldman's going to be the one to take this away. And in goes Hemphill to take advantage of the opening that came with that. And Bowers takes this and passes to Hemphill right in the middle. The slide tackle does not work from Sullivan. But, but Trimble is able to take this away. And gets it by Jin. And Bowers showing off some of the some of those skills here. And he's passing to Jin. Get him a little more experience. And once again, he's been doing very well at keeping the ball. He's probably not gonna keep it from Dunlap, especially after the press, but he's been able to keep it. And that was actually closer than than anyone expected. And might as well give Bowers one last attempt to take that. And why not? He's going to go for the shot, and it actually gets on to goal. M saved by Meeks. <laughs> Trimble back. Madison has only a few more actions left. And they're not even... Okay, that did end it. I was thinking maybe a fifth goal if if they gave us extra time, but no, Manchester triumphs four to nothing. We only seem to be getting better with every game. Another shutout, another incredible effort by Hemphill. There's not much more we could ask for from the team. Hemphill, Bowers, and Thacker are the men of the match. Childress got some defense up. Thornton, defense and control, and Jin, some stuff across the board. And that is none of, Oh, Hemphill just upgraded. What am I talking about? Yeah, he's not going to upgrade again soon. Doss got some more experience. Hodges is not going to get an upgrade before he has to retire. We did get a little more experience for Jin and for Peterson. Not too much, though. We're still making progress on Thacker, but because this is split up between center mid and right mid, uh... If, if we had concentrated more on one or the other, we'd have the upgrade, but not yet. A nice, nice performance, and Bismarck crushed Anchorage. Oklahoma City beat Jacksonville, Sacramento beat Albuquerque, Memphis beat Topeka, Tampa beat Little Rock, and Honolulu beat San Jose. 
we have moved up to fourth in the league with the second least goals allowed after Sacramento and only one point behind Oklahoma City. It's been quite the run recently. And Hemphill with four goals has moved into a tie for second in the league for goals. Roman with four assists has taken the outright lead. Bowers is still well in front on tackles. Thornton and Childress also appear. I'm a bit surprised Doss is not in there. And Hodges had a couple more saves today. The team is looking really good, and we're going to be taking on Little Rock next, a team we have a lot of history with. And I think they look fairly vulnerable to our attack, attack also. This could be a really good game for us as well, and I would love for a fifth straight victory. Join us for the next episode because I think it's going to be really exciting. Leave a like if you enjoyed the episode, comment below any thoughts, subscribe to keep following Manchester's journey, and I hope to see you all next time. Have a great day, and happy gaming.